Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. In this video we will be going over the Craftware, the latest version. Um, for those of you who have, have been following my video or have been subscribing, um, you know that I'm an avid Cura user. But the other day, uh, someone on my 3D forum suggested that I try Craftware. Um, so here I am. Um, I've downloaded it about two days ago. I played with it a little bit. And it is a pretty cool, fun little program. So I thought I'd share that with you guys, giving you two options which way you want to go. All right, so <clears throat> getting started, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Google, of course. And once you go to Google, you just want to type in Craftware and click on the second option because the first one is an ad, so you don't want to do that. On this page, you'll just get a little overview of the program. And if you scroll down, you'll see a Windows or a Mac. Okay. Uh, one thing I do recommend before you click on that, <coughs> go ahead and create an account because you will be using this. There's a lot of useful updates and um, tutorials on here that um, I might have missed. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to be thorough on this and get you guys through whatever you need. Um, to get your G code and your printer going. All right, so I personally have a Mac. That's what I'm using. So I'm gonna click on the Mac tab. I'm gonna click on Get Craftware. Okay. So when you get to this screen here, it says Required here, but not really. <laughs> Just click on Notify Me about updates. Just unselect that, and it will automatically start downloading for you. I'm going to go and clear that out because I've already downloaded the program. So once you do that, you're just going to go down, uh, pick Craftware, and you will be greeted with this beautiful screen here. Uh, one thing I do like about this program is all the tabs are laid out for you. It's in the corner on the side, so you don't have to worry about anything. Um, I'll go show you guys uh, some basic features right now as far as how to maneuver around. Uh, if there's people out there that have used other slicing software and you know how to maneuver around or if you want to do that on your own you can skip ahead but I make all my videos as if this is your first time ever using a slicing program so I'm kind of a little bit thorough on it uh, <clears throat> so it might take a couple of minutes for me to go over this okay now before you start to do anything okay first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on options here when you click on options, we're going to skip everything else here except for the printer tab right here. You're going to click on the printer tab. Why are you going to click on the printer tab? There's two main things that you need to adjust on here. One, your position on your printer. Where is your zero position on the printer? Um, some people might be centered. Click on centered. <coughs> some people, like me, my 3D printer is actually in the front left corner. So I'm going to select that because when this program tries to uh, print or whatever it might be doing, it's going to figure out, well, your zero position is here. And sometimes that may uh, throw off the placement of your printer, uh, your, your G code and the, what you're trying to print. So that's the first thing you want to do. Mine is front left corner, like I said. Another thing you want to do is there's there's so many printers out there, guys, and everybody's bed dimensions are different. Um, so notice the X, Y, and Z here, uh, what the dimensions show here. It's, it's according to their basic specs, okay? So my printer actually does 300, 300, and 400 for the Z. Now, one thing I learned uh, throughout the couple of months that I've been printing is if your X and Y are maxed out, or if they say 200, that's the maximum. I mean, they rate these things at maximum. So what I like to do is give it a five uh, leeway because sometimes the printers can't reach that potential uh, max height. So mine is 300 for the X, I'm gonna put 295. And 
the Y is 300, I'm gonna put 295. Notice as I'm doing that in the background, uh, the layout is changing as far as the view. <clears throat> My Z is at 400, I'm gonna do 395. And once I do that, I just hit okay. Because now you're actually working with your bed size, okay? Now, to maneuver things around. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and add. There's a tab right here. Click on the add button and it's going to bring the location of all your STL files or you know you need to maneuver around it to get to where you need to go. I'm going to click it, you can hit open or you can double click. Now if you notice, <laughs> well, this is actually my STL file right here. What I'm going to do is because this is such a big file, I'm going to click on scale. Okay, I'm just going to go and hold that down and pull it towards me to reduce the size of it okay and if it's still too big you click on it again and you rotate it towards yourself or pull towards yourself okay so now as you notice where this is at it tells you the exact measurements here or, di or dimensions I guess of where it's at what the percentage is and things like that <coughs> so what I want to do first is of course go over the move around functions with you guys on your mouse if you zoom in and out on that little cursor it will uh, zoom in and out if you hold down uh, the right clicker hold it down and maneuver around it will give you the angles uh, that you need now notice when I did that half of or a portion of my ship has been taken off and the bed's been moved here how to fix that is you hold down the shift key, uh, you hold down your right trigger or clicker and move it over, okay? And then you can maneuver around however you want. Another way you can do it is use the arrows that you see here. And if you're confused on what the color coordination is, uh, if you notice the green down here is your Z axis, uh, the red is your X, and the blue or purple, whatever it is, is your Y axis. Okay. So basically, um, that's how you zoom in and out, hold down your right clicker on your mouse, and you can maneuver around any angle that you want. But let's say you want to actually move the ship. How do you do that? Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay. So this is the front view. This bad boy moved over, so you take a look. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so if you click on the move button here, again, you have your three color coordinated arrows, which are defined down here. You can move it up, down, uh, front, back, or left and right. Or easier way just to go ahead and uh, click your left trigger, hold it down, and move it around to however you want. Okay? So that's how you maneuver that. If you want to rotate something same concept you click on the rotate button now if you notice guys when I click on these tabs right here it puts a yellow bar at the top showing that hey that's the bar that's selected at the moment and down here it gives you a description of what it is so if I go to uh, let's say scale and I leave it highlighted it tells me what scale does if I go to drop plane it tells me what that does but uh, we're gonna work on rotate right now so again you can hold it down and move it just click on it. You got your three arrows here. Okay. Those are the three ways you can do it right there. So we went over how to move. That's front, just basic front, back and up, down. This is how you rotate. Uh, we went over scale. <coughs> you can either grab, pull, and push or you can actually click on the arrows itself okay um, so those are these three tabs now um, zoom out this tab is I don't know if it's very useful or not but the drop plane here once you select that wherever you click it will put that on the bed so for example this is my top part of the ship okay if I click here it's gonna flip it 
you see that and then I have to go and adjust it let's say if I want to make it where this is on top of the bed the front nose of the aircraft okay or if I want to make the <clears throat> exhaust part on the bottom see there you go let's zoom on so you can see I don't like using that feature too much I think it's kind of a pain in the ass but you might have a need for it at one point <coughs> so there it is so I'm just gonna click on the bottom and that just put it right at the wow that's crazy okay so we'll just leave it like that now auto drop if you notice let me go ahead and uh, click on move auto drop is uh, where it prevents things from going below the bed so for example now my ship is half under the bed if you notice right here that portion right there so if you have this selected and you just click on it move it a little bit anywhere in any direction it automatically adjusts and drops it right on the bed so again if let's say if I do that and see how this part is at the bottom I have my auto bed turned on I'm just gonna click on it move it a little bit and it'll put it above to where it's on the bed but it's still at an angle I have to go and fix that of course so that covers auto bed drop plane scale rotate move select I don't use it at all I, I really don't know how to use it I don't know what it is um, I think it's just a waste of time to be honest because I haven't used it yet <laughs> but okay one cool feature about this program is there's an undo and redo button right here so remember how I just moved my aircraft if I do undo it puts it back undo again undo 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 and it's cool it's not just like one or two or three undos you can actually go all the way back to the beginning and if you went one too far you just click redo and it will move it forward to where you were okay so there we are that's how you use undo redo add you know what, what that is if I want to remove this file I just click on it and just do remove and it's gone okay um, actually let me try something I haven't done this yet if I select that portion and I no, I won't let me remove it okay so I thought maybe that's what it was for all right so that's how you use these features here now after you're done with this uh, you're gonna have two options notice on the right and the left you will either have Go ahead and move this up a little. You're gonna have support or you're gonna have slice. Okay, if you want, you're happy with this, you just want to throw it in there and create a G code, go and click on slice. This will bring you to the basic version uh, or the non expert mode, as I call it. <clears throat> Quality of print do you want high, medium, ultra? Just leave it on medium. What are you gonna be using? Uh, PLA. Do you want to automatically generate support? Of course you do. Do you want to add a rift? Of course, why not? Go ahead and do that and click on slice. Now by creating a, a raft, guys, it actually does help a lot because that gets your nozzle flowing. And uh, once that happens, when it actually gets to the print itself, it works out pretty good. Holy shit, what happened here? Okay, so there is some kind of an error with the program on my end, I guess. Looks like a big butt. <laughs> Anyways, uh, just to show you what it did, if I hit, if I click this button, go back to support. And this brings us <clears throat> to the support screen. And you notice here the aircraft it has its own supports because it wasn't level to the bed remember I did not have it level to the bed so it's gonna build all these little support beams for it um, the cool thing is you can actually add manual supports just by clicking on it you don't have to do anything you just go there and like an invisible little 
uh, thing right there comes up and you just click on it and it adds support just like that okay but let's say if you think you're good enough to where you can tell what supports are needed or if you feel like oh my god there's too many supports here um, for Windows guys if you hold down control uh, for Apple if you hold down command if you click on it notice these pillars or the support pillars turn red or burgundy or whatever the hell the color it is once you highlight and you click on it it disappears so let's say if I want to remove this whole middle layer without holding the control or command key it's just highlighted okay if I hold it down it's red so I'm just gonna go ahead and just click on them notice that whole row went away but I'm and let's say if you change your mind undo 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 <clears throat> or if you feel like you wanted to add your own manual supports on it just click there now I added a support let me go to the other side so you can see it better there's your one support right there okay if you want to add more feel free <clears throat> so this is what uh, what it auto generates for you and again I'm gonna take a chance and click on slice again once you hit the slice button it brings you to this screen right here okay on this screen uh, notice these little moving parts right here that's just the uh, animate part that's on there you can turn that off it tells you how many layers there's gonna be how many lines there's gonna be uh, things like that so basically this saves everything for you with the support and all that and all you got to do is just go and click on the save button here and save it wherever you want and that's how you get your G code uh, with just in normal mode or in a non-expert mode I guess so that's gonna do it for this video uh, so just a recap you know how to import things into here you know how to add support to it rotate um scale things like that and then you know how to change it into a g-code and to save it and this is all done in the non-expert mode which is already uh preset for you guys in here where you can just pick the medium high quality of print or the ultra um so everything's already there good to go uh one thing i will point out if i go to options here real quick guys and go to printer i did not go over um <clears throat> the, uh, the nozzle size or anything like that because that's already preset to 0.4 and that's what most printers nowadays have uh, besides the bed diameters um, I didn't think we needed to change anything in here so uh, with that said that is the end of this video um, I am going to make one more on craftware uh, using the expert mode I'm gonna go step by step on what those things are and how to refine um, your prints and things like that. Uh, that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy and happy printing. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Bye!